Hello and welcome to our Shampoo Snap 11 video tutorial. In this video, I'll show you various ways to capture your screen, edit or annotate the images, and share the results with others. Once installed, Snap auto launches with Windows and displays a collapsed toolbar at the top right corner of your screen by default. Left-click the handle to expand the toolbar and access its functions. Snap offers multiple capture modes. To capture a rectangular region, left-click and drag your mouse pointer to select the area. Then, left-click the selection to take the screenshot. By default, new captures automatically open in Snap's Edit mode. I'll talk about this mode in more detail later. For now, I'll simply save the screenshot by clicking Save Capture. You can also one-click capture single application windows, for example to use them in technical documents. Once again, I'll just save the capture for now. Another capture mode I frequently use myself is the ability to screenshot entire websites. In many cases, websites occupy more space than your display provides, so they have to rely on scrolling. Since applications handle scrolling differently, Snap provides two different functions to capture scrolling websites in their entirety. As the name implies, Capture Internet Explorer slash Chrome website is geared specifically towards these browsers. Simply left-click the program window to start capturing. Capture scrolling window is perfect for Firefox or other applications in general and requires you to drag a rectangular selection around the visible part of the area you wish to capture. Here's what it looks like when used with my Opera browser. First, I visit a website and select Capture Internet Explorer slash Chrome website from the toolbar. Then, I left-click the application window and let Snap take care of the rest. Afterwards, the capture will open in Snap's edit mode, which I'll talk about in more detail now. This mode opens automatically after each successful image or video capture, but you can also enable it manually by clicking the corresponding toolbar icon. Edit mode features two function panes. On the left you'll find image and video editing tools. Functions to save, upload or share your capture are located on the right. For best readability, the panes are expanded by default. Use the arrow icons to collapse or expand them as needed. Let's start editing. I'll pixelize a portion of the screenshot and add a frame to emphasize a specific area. I'll also insert an arrow and a number for added clarity. You'll find the tool to pixelize individual portions of your image in the upper part of the left function pane. Left-click and drag to select the source area and click Pixelize to apply the effect. Toolbar items that contain sub-items display an arrow symbol. To add a frame, left-click the shape item to reveal the supported shape operations. Then, select rectangle, left-click the start point and drag to adjust the size of the shape. Afterwards, adjust line width, stroke and fill color to your needs. 
click shape again to close the section. Let's add the arrow. Click arrow to reveal all arrow related functions. I'll go with straight arrow. Once again, left click the start point and drag to adjust size and end point of the new arrow. In this case, the image portion I want to draw attention to. Numbers are perfect to visualize a step-by-step -step process. You'll find this feature under Documentation. Once selected, left-click into the image to insert numbers in ascending order. What a time saver! Time to email the screenshot. Sharing functionality is located in the right function name, so let's collapse the left one. Send by email is the quickest way to email your screenshots. It will open your default email application, create a new email and attach the screenshot. All that's left for you is to provide a subject line and text content. Naturally, you can also just save the screenshot and come back to it later. That's it for today. Feel free to try out the various other features in Snap. Have fun and see you in the next video.